uh, hi friends today in this tutorial I will be talking about the unsplash API and how to get a uh, photograph using unsplash API using fetch we will be using the fetch API for uh, fetching the photographs so let me just uh, tell you the endpoint that I will be hitting I will be hitting this endpoint api.unsplash.com slash photos and here you just need to provide the client ID so if you go to unsplash and you need to create a developer account I have already created it and this is my if you go to profile here you can see that I have created some project here so due to project due to uh, I have created a project and I have created this client ID so after creating the client ID you need to uh, create a very simple HTML here you can see that inside the body I have included bootstrap you can see that I have included bootstrap and after that you need to write your JavaScript so let me just delete this code also so inside the body we will be having a simple image tag so I will be giving a ID to it of image like this and uh, inside the script we will be making a simple get request using fetch so in order to make a fetch request you will be having this and here you just need to copy paste the link that you want to make a fetch request to I will copy paste this link so this will return a JSON response to me I have provided all the values here this is my client ID so api.unsplash.com slash photos question mark client ID and now if I want to get the response I will pass a function here like this that this will be holding the data for me inside this I will console log the response first of all in order to see the response what is the response contains and now if I refresh the application this is my application inspect element and uh, go to console so here I think that we need to trigger a action a button let's suppose on click let me just give it on click attribute request so this function will execute and uh, let me just give it a label of request photo and I will be wrapping this inside uh, this request function so after wrapping this now if I refresh it this is my button if I click this button it will be making a get request so why it is not making this get request so this is fetch I have provided this URL oh sorry guys this returns a promise so that is why it is not returning it this is not the way in order to handle this this returns a promise so you need to handle this by dot then and here the response will be returned and first of all we just need to return we need to convert the response in, into JSON so we will just write here return response dot JSON we will convert to JSON this will again return a promise to us like this function data this time and now we can just console log the data this time console log data and now if I refresh it hopefully I will see that if I refresh the application so it is just refreshing so just wait so if I click the button request photo so you will see that 10 photographs have come here this is a JSON response and in each photograph we have this ID created at updated at width height color description these are the URLs that are there you can just print this image so it is very simple we will be having a for each loop here for each and uh, this is located inside data dot uh, items let me just uh, uncheck this and again see what is the response here if I click it once again 
so basically guys inside this there is a property of urls so urls we will be having urls dot we will be displaying the regular url like this so this will be for each and this will be data dot this is an array so you can see that this is an array so data dot urls dot regular so this will be data dot this is an array uh, I think that uh, in order to do this data is an array here so we just need to write here for each data is the array so in each let me just call this as item so we can just uh, make an image tag here uh, image element or we can dynamically change the source attribute or in order to have multiple images this is a we can just declare a div here I can just write a result and inside this result we will be concatenating our images so just declare an image variable here and inside this we will be declaring initializing image to let me just write here backtick symbol and here we will be image source is equal to and here we will be writing our variable which will be uh, item dot urls dot regular so this is a whole link and now we just need to close this image tag and lastly we just need to uh, also just uh, include jQuery as well because I need the method of uh, jQuery so jQuery CDN just type here and include the it by using w3schools.com so this is a website you can see that copy the CDN here copy it and right here paste it after the body so after pasting it we can just use a simple method of jQuery which will be we will be targeting it by the ID the div that we have given which is result dot append and we can just pass the image element that's it and now if I refresh it refresh my application click on request photo Oh, sorry I haven't saved this so click on the auto save option again so basically if I refresh it now click on request photo so you will get all these 10 photographs displayed here you can see that if I you can see that 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so these are 10 photographs if you right click it you can also save this you can even get additional information so inside this various other information are also there if you go to each here this is an array so you can even have the width height the color description you can print out this alt description here let me just uh, turn off this so there is a property here which is uh, inside let me have a break tag and a heading and we can just print, print out inside this heading this uh, all description so we can just have a variable which will be item dot alt description let me just see what is the property alt description yes and now if I again control s sorry control s and uh, if I refresh it request photo and now you will see a short little description of the photographs as well you can see that orange and black motorcycle if I again this is null this is null so every photograph will not have a description so if a photograph contains a description then you can see that two women taking while standing near building this is again like this 
so in the same way you can have additional information as well go to console now if I want to print out more information statistics is also there the number of likes so you can print out the number of likes like this so there is a property here this is an array here so I can just first of all turn off the auto save yes and also I can just print out the total number of likes here so have a break tag and inside h2 we can just have uh, likes colon and then also close the h2 tag here like this and inside this we can just print out our variable which is located inside uh, this is item dot category so basically category is an array so this is very import important categories is an array so here we will write here categories square brackets and it contains the first property of likes here so we will write here zero dot likes something like this I think that this will work Or I think that this did should work also because this is the first element let me just see if I refresh it also we need to save it control s request photo likes undefined I think if it categories dot likes let me just see if it works or not likes if I click request photo again likes undefined I think that we need to change this to zero dot likes again save it save it if I click it so it is cannot read property I think that uh, I have making a mistake here categories is an array so we need to remove here this uh, just print out categories here save it now if I refresh it request photo and now what we see how it is printing out likes so it is not printing out but uh, this is a way guys we can just interact with the using fetch API the unsplash API that I have shown to you so thanks very much for watching this video